Welcome to the Swing This Members Workout. This is the Snatch X or Snatch Decathlon. It's Ten different ways to have fun working with the kettlebell snatch. So this first one, snatch from floor. I'm going to start with the bell on the floor by your heels. That keeps you tense there enough that you're using your hips for the bell the whole time. So here comes the second one. Second level is the swing snatch. So this is great for focus and making sure that your reps are really good. So swing, then snatch. Simple as that. Really like this to work the grip because the repetitious movement on the hip and the reps are a lot higher than snatching. If you're just doing snatches for, let's say, a minute, you're going to end up with a whole lot more, like right there. The tempo increases on that swing. So anyway, we're going to get into this next one. It's coming up on the third round. There's a lot of different ways you can use this exercise. I'm going to post them below, different variables. So right here, we're going to do a cross-body rotational snatch. So you're going to start on the floor just like you did, but it's going to be outside of your opposite foot. Notice this is still coming from the hips. It's not a lot of twisting and jerking from the spine, from the, from the lower back. A lot of it I'm pushing. Notice how I'm pushing from the opposite hand, foot right there. So I'm tense across my body. That transverse plane work, taking it down carefully. So now we're coming up on that fourth one. So here, what we're going to do is a another clean to snatch. Instead of the swing to snatch, we're doing a clean to snatch. Once again, work on focus. So we're going to clean it up to rack position, drop it down. Clean it up, drop it down. I really like this. Helps you focus on your grip and the change, subtle changes that you have to make because the clean and the snatch, the snatch is just a little bit more power upward. It's a lot different than the swing to snatch. Sometimes I get into it and I start, you know, you're, you're used to doing the same exercise over and over and over. Your brain wants to do that. It wants to find that repetition. So if you do clean to snatch, it takes a while. You're going to have to focus more. That's why I like doing this for that focus um, presentation. So now here, we're moving into the fifth. So this is a kneeling lunge snatch. So I definitely recommend on a softer surface. But notice how I really have to use the hips here. I have to keep that bell tighter to my torso. I'm going to switch over here. It's a shorter range of motion right there. So right here, you can't let that bell dip. There isn't too much um, of that kind of elastic muscle work. This is pure absorption and go. Um, so with heavier weights, this gets tough. So now we're into the six. So it's a plank lateral snatch. If your experience suits it, go ahead and try it. Fat bells would be good for this. Um, dumbbells are cool for this. But it's just basically rotational. Um, but in that anterior front of the body, um, just make you think a little bit more. Take your time on this. If this is something that you aren't uh, experienced with, you might want to skip it. I want to change something up for it. You might want to do maybe the, the plank swings, but notice how I keep that have to keep that bell in tight. It does a lot of work for the um, the middle trapezius, the rear delts, um, lats, and keeping that elbow a little tighter to my body. So we're switching on. We're heading into I believe yeah number seven palm catch snatch. I love this exercise. It feels so good for people when just learning how to do the snatch for the drop into the handle instead of letting the handle grind in their palm. They have to palm that bell, drop, and catch. So drop and catch perfectly. So you could start with this with a clean if you're doing it um, just to learn. It's clean a little safer. Anyway, moving on to number eight. So basically, for another snatch, here's a overhead 
snatched overhead squat, snatch overhead squat, take your time, work on that stability of the arm. I think a lot of people don't realize how much stability of the shoulder helps with a snatch. It helps you from getting tired. It's a really good exercise to focus on. Um, take your time to get it, absorb. Sometimes you can go quick, but like I said, we'll get into the variables on how you can make this a progressive workout, but it's meant to really get your mind connected to that kettlebell snatch movement. Now here is a bottoms up snatch, so simple, but still challenging. So the simplest way is to grip that handle, and bring it up, balance it, absorb it, bring it up, balance it. You're not letting that handle grind in your hand, in your palm. Bring that up. There you go, you can see that balance. Nice grip. Always basically the same grip and letting go right there. Re sometimes you have to re-grip if it feels like it's moving. Chalk helps with that. Now, there we go. And the final one is basically a sprint. Make sure you're fixating. Boom. So you can work on hard style or you can do on kettlebell sport, whatever. You probably noticed that I went back and forth. I'd stay on one side right and then I'd switch to the exercise and stay on that. It's just for the sake of doing this uh, workout straight through when I filmed it. But I'll get into doing all the different variables that you can change to make this, make this uh, challenging for yourself and progressive because that's what matters. So anyway... Uh, feel free if you want to uh, be a member, join us, get some free stuff, get some perks, get some things that not everybody can get on, on our YouTube channel. Talk to you guys later. Swing this.